Hey there, Wargamers, Justin Aaron Paint here, and today we're going to talk about my Dragon's Fury updates. I'd like to welcome you guys back again. Thank you for popping in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be talking about the hobby updates for my Dragon's Fury slash Karita. Um, if you have seen the battle port that went up recently, you have already seen some of my Karita mechs in action, but I've been working on some expansions here. So I want to uh, give you guys a little bit of a hobby update. So I have a little box here and uh, I'll show you guys what I've been working on and uh, you'll kind of get to see some of the stuff in its various stages. Get a little zoom in here, boom. So we've got our dire wolf. And I'm really pleased with this. I haven't done any edge highlights, no scratch work yet. We just got the decals uh, and the matte varnish down, uh, as well as the dry brush and all that. So it's time to do some scratch work, time to do any of the small like barrel details that I need to do, and then the um, uh, canopies. Now in the the fluff listed for, uh, this is Dragon's Fury, but uh, I'm gonna use them as Karita slash Dragon's Fury. It's my way to traverse the uh, the timeline there to limit um, how many different things I need to paint. Um, but there's a named guy, I forget his name at this moment, um, but when I looked at 3052 Clan Invasion towards the end, there is a named guy from Karita who's piloting a direwolf. I don't know the story behind him. I feel like he might've been in a recognition guide or something, um, but that made me grab one of my extra direwolves and start painting it up. Now. I don't have a huge amount of extra stuff, but I do have a lot of mechs because I backed the Kickstarter. Um, but a lot of my extras have been things I've been picking up in trades and stuff. Um, so the people in the Facebook, if you happen to be watching this, big thank you for the trades you've been making. I've been doing a lot of trades for DRD products or store credit for mechs. And I've been using those mechs to uh, go towards trades to help myself out, help locals out and get stuff ready to go uh, for factions for battle reports. And uh, this is one of my extra dire wolves and this is where he got put. So I really like him. I think he looks really cool. And that, whoops, I just him down. That fade looks looks really nice to me. The next up, we've got the, I think this is a, one of the various Hatamoto options. You're going to notice some a couple of Dark Age guys as I, I roll through here. Um, I saw this listed in the Dark Age era, and um, I forget which version, but I'm pretty sure it said Hatamoto something. Um, and then I had to have the model. It looks super cool. He's got good stats, and the model looks super sick. Downside is it is metal, but uh, I think he turned out pretty cool so far really digging it it's amazing the things you can do now uh, with some airbrush some washes and some dry brush it is it is quite stellar uh, moving on with some of the uh, dark age stuff we got this fellow 100% can't remember this guy's name I need to write this stuff down because it was dark age as well because I think this was dark age I could be wrong on this one correct me somebody in the comments knows I wanted to have some more of the uh, Karita uh flavor for my faction so that it wasn't just like me, me copy pasting all the same um uh, inner sphere mechs because there's certain ones i really really like and i just kind of want to be like well i want to use a hunchback everyone gets a hunchback you get a hunchback he gets a hunchback why are all the hunchbacks that's kind of where i'm at so uh i wanted to get some of the fluff here or, or things that felt more uh, in line with their faction and so we got the i believe this is the actual uh is this the hatamoto or no dachi I can't, remember if, I can't remember if this is the regular Hatamoto. I don't think it's the Nodachi. I think the Nodachi's got a sword. So I believe this is the, the derpy um, Hatamoto. I think it looks super derpy. It's old. But sometimes, if you watch my videos, you've heard me talk about how the plastic is very superior to the metal in most cases, in my opinion. Um, this is one of those cases where like a new plastic version of this probably would be superior. But I'd probably still want to have this just because it looks so old and nostalgic uh, for me. Uh, not that I played Battletech back then, but I, I appreciate some of the old stuff because it makes me feel like a kid again. And this is one of those mechs. So I had to have them. Kind of looks like an old uh, Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meets um, uh, Transformers or something like that. So, yeah. And then we've got the last, not the last, we've got a few more of these older ones, or uh, Dark Age era ones. <laughs> we've got the Roko Ryubi, if I said it right. Super cool, like a little tiny samurai. Yeah. What's not to like about that thing? He's super cool. And again, they're all in the kind of the same uh, same stage right now for for where they're at. So, Boop. we've got a Shiro. Yeah, it's a big boy. Now, when I played MechWarrior Dark Age, the clicks, I had a bunch of these because I played uh, Dragon's Fury. 
Uh, now this one, I didn't feel like filing a customer service report. If somebody from Ironwinds is watching, you know, if you, uh, if you aren't watching, then you don't know. I really didn't feel like filing the complaints to get the part because it wasn't that big a deal, but you'll notice this flag smaller than this one. This is one that we 3d printed, um, from one of our, um, our custom mechs. Uh, and this is the official one. I was missing a flag. It was supposed to have two and only have one. I wasn't that worried about it and I figured I could do I could just paint this one up and then I could put um, like a number on it and then this one could have the Dragon's Fury decal um, and I felt like this would be like faction this would just be like like unit identifier or something I thought that would be cool um, and be fine but it is totally missing or was missing one of the metal things and I'm sure they would have replaced it but it just wasn't that big of a deal for me at the time and then we got this big guy uh, I don't remember what this one is either uh, it was one that was listed on Master Unit List as an exclusive uh, Krita mech or Dragon's Free mech. And I was like, hell yeah, that thing's dope. Whatever this is, it is like five pounds. It's not really five pounds, but it's, it's very heavy. Uh, it's a big old chunky boy uh, of metal, and it looks so sick. And the thing that's really nice about some metal is you get these really sharp edges. Now, metal will chip. It's heavy. It could break. The, those are all viable concerns. But, 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 a lot of this metal has really sharp edges, which means it catches a dry brush beautifully. Uh, and I think this guy just looks so damn sick. I don't know when I'll get to use them. But if we play some later eras, pew, 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 this guy is going to smash something. I'm determined to let him smash something. <laughs> and then um, we've got a Marauder. Can't go wrong with a Marauder. I really like it. Did you like it? Pew, 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 pew. All right. And then from the new Wave 2 stuff, which I'm excited about, I grabbed these immediately and sat them to the side because apparently they are particularly fluffy for uh Karita slash dragon's fury we got the thug boom 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 mech life pew, pew, pew. i really like these new models um and again so you can do so much with just a little bit of airbrush washes dry brushes like uh my time investment in these was just not super duper high and they've turned out pretty cool looking um i just need to get to the doing the scratch marks and stuff and that really makes them pop and then the final mech from my uh, Dragon's Free Karita expansion. A dragon! He looks so cool. He looks way better than the uh, MWO sculpt, in my opinion. I like this. He's so neat. He's got all those little, like, pods here or, or holes here for his missiles to come out. Got his big lasers. Got his cockpit. It's like, it's like he's got a helmet that was just, like, jammed in there. Uh, it's very cool. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with, uh, with where that's at. So uh, the majority of my expansion here for my Dragon's Fury Karita, there's a lot of big mechs. I think he's the smallest. I think he's technically a heavy. Um, the rest of these are heavies and assaults, but um, there's a huge emphasis. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five of them um, are, uh, which I guess is half, uh, dark age era so um and a lot of the other ones can span the timeline spectrum so i want to be able to play with some cool unique stuff as the eras expanded or, or or moved forward with what we were playing and then play with stuff in the clan invasion succession wars um and uh, uh civil war kind of eras so uh but that is our update for where i'm at with my dragon's fury stuff um Typically, I would paint in groups of four, so lances. This one happens to be 10 instead of 12 uh, or eight. Um, I'm not sure why that happened. It just kind of, actually, I think that happened because I added these two on. My wave two came in after I uh, had, had picked these guys up. Um, so I added those in and that, I think that's what threw the number off. So, uh, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy this update. If you enjoy the content I put out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for letting me into your day. Thank you for letting me ramble about something that I'm passionate about. And I hope that I inspire you to paint some models get into Battletech and play some games and, and share this hobby we all love with others. If you enjoy these minis and you want to pick up the paints that I use, check out Monument Hobbies. Their Pro Acro line is uh, responsible for 99% of what I used on these bad boys right here. Uh, we got a link down below with a coupon code. And if you're looking for anything and everything Battletech, check out Fortress Miniatures and Games, our, one of our official stream sponsors now. Whoop, whoop. Um, I got the majority of these models from him and some of the stuff that I use uh, for um, working on these is from him as well. Um, I've got some dry brushes from Army Painter 
that I use the the Masterclass dry brush set, which my big ones are currently in the um, the other room because I was washing them off after use. But uh, that's what I use on these. They're they're wonderful, and he carries them. So if you're interested in picking up some BattleTech, uh, or maybe the dry brushes I used here, check out Fortress Miniatures and Games. And finally, if you want to expand your uh, offerings for BattleTech outside of the minis, maybe you want to get some terrain or uh, or the mechs rather, maybe you want to get some terrain and some combined arms. Check out DeathRayDesigns.com. We got a coupon and a link down below supporting them help support me and that uh, that's the company I work for for my day job so but as always guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today keep rolling those dice keep painting those models and i will catch you next time mm -hmm.